like to start on the public offering and taking the company public. $2 billion valuation, 6,000-ish mm -hmm. employees, nearly 3 million clients. Forbes has named you one of the wealthiest self-made women in America. As you have accomplished all of that and then turning to take the company public, what was the biggest challenge in doing that? The whole process of the public offering was, was a challenge. Um, with Stitch Fix, fundraising has always been hard. Um, we built a company that is now doing over a billion dollars in revenue, and we did that using 43 million in capital. Mm. Not because you that was my to. goal. I tried to raise a lot more money, and it was always hard. Um, and you know, with the offering, it also it is a public offering, and it's a very public event. But it's also a capital raising event. Yeah. And the day didn't necessarily come out with the pricing that we were hoping for. But I think we came out really motivated by the challenge right. of it. You are making history as the youngest female CEO to take a company public. As you look back and reflect, what's the biggest lesson on that? You know, I think it's resilience and grit is one. Um, I, to be able to have a moment of adversity and to feel really challenged and motivated and to use that as fuel rather than use that as, you know, something that drags you down. There's a picture that went viral. You held your 14-month-old then son uh, on the floor of the NASDAQ the day that the company went public and you rang the, the, the opening bell there. And that it meant so much for other uh, women, I think for men and women who are parents. And that wasn't even apparently a planned moment, right? What happened? He, he was there with me. It was an important day. And um, so he and my husband were there. And for there's a moment before the kind of bell ringing where you um, give remarks to the company. Right. And so for that, I had been holding him and kept him with me. And it, the response was amazing. Like I, I never anticipated it and I wasn't you know, I wasn't smart enough to plan all of these things, but, um, you know, and I, and I understand why, because I think as myself, like I never, this wasn't a goal of mine. Like when we were in high school, I didn't think, oh, I'm going to be an entrepreneur and I'm going to take up pump company public. Like it wasn't even on my radar is like, yeah. this is a possible outcome for me. And so, um, I think to be able to be part of showing an example of like, this is something that somebody in high school today could be seeing as like a path for her. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I feel so privileged to get to be part of that image.